All right, Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the Heavenly Father's Son. And I want to give double honors to my apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel today who rule well. And salutations and honor to the hopeful elect out there pushing this truth and sincerity. All right, a couple hours ago, uh, Britain, U.S., and France, as as you see the title, they uh, struck Syria. All right, they struck three three places in Syria. One of the places was Damascus. <coughs> now, it's prophesied that Damascus will be destroyed. Syria will be destroyed. You know, the whole uh, Israel, will, you know, it, it'll be desolate. Um, I wanted to bring out Mark, the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. It says, and then after this, we're going to jump into uh, the, the article. This is Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. It says, and when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled. For such things must, must needs be, but the end shall not be, but the end shall not be yet. All right. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. All right. And, and now what are we having here? We have in Syria uh, against uh, uh, the, the uh, U.S., Britain, France, etc. All right. From um, Russia against against uh, the U.S., China against the U.S. All right, we having a, a na nations rising rising up against nation, kingdom is against against kingdom. All right, but right now we we we, we can't be troubled because um because of because the destruction isn't isn't going to come to pass just yet. Why? Because there's other pro other prophecies that have to come to pass. All right. Slakia. Come on. Slakia. There's other prophecies that have to come to pass, such as the mark of the beast. You know. The scriptures say that America won't be destroyed until. Until uh, until uh, the mark of the beast prophecy is f fulfilled. All right, so like you had to turn on my airplane mode. Um, and 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 not only America, S S Syria won't be destroyed. Uh, 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 basically, this uh nuclear war won't uh be uh won't pop off until this mark of the beast comes to pass to put uh, until this mark of the peace this um, mark of the beast and these other pro prophecies come to pass first all right which you know what I'm, I'm gonna get that uh in the book of job Salakia. spirit is rolling I didn't plan on uh, bringing out the book of job but Spirit has it to, uh, to where I need to bring it out. All right, this is the book of Job, chapter 15, and I'm going to start at verse 19. Unto, who, unto whom alone the earth was given, and no strength passed among them. The wicked man travailed with pains. Slakia. That's the wrong. That's the wrong. That's the wrong chapter. This is book. Of, this is the book of Job, chapter twenty, and I'm gonna start at verse. I'm gonna start at verse twenty-two. In the full, in, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in strength. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. All right. And now, what do we see here? We see, uh, um. Every hand of the wicked, the the, the um, 
the other hands of the of the of the of of, of the of the wicked represents these the these these other heathen nations. All right, such such as uh um uh the Arabs, the Chinese. What um the, the Arabs are are the Ishmaelites according to the scriptures. Um the 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 Chinese are Moab according to uh the the scriptures. All right. And these other nations that 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 is when Esau is going to be in the fullness of his of his suf, uh, sufficiency all right. at at his peak, you know, at at his peak of his kingdom. Bring out the the, the destruction of uh Damascus and and I'm also put the, the this article in the in the description. This is the book of Isaiah, the 17th chapter, and the uh, 17th verse. Uh, it's like the 17th chapter and the first verse. Now, this is dealing with Syria. The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous Heap and verse one. That's the prophecy of the of the destruction of Syria. All right. And I also want to bring out Jeremiah chapter thirty three because of uh, Israel is going to be completely wiped wiped out also. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter thirty three. And I'm going to start at verse 3. Ezekiel. Just bear with me for a second, Aku. This is Ezekiel chapter 33. And I'm going to start at verse 27. Just give me a second real quick it says I'm going to start at verse 28 lock it. for I will lay the land most desolate and the pomps of her sh strength shall cease and the mountains of Israel shall be desolate and none shall pass through then shall they know that I am the Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai power when I have laid the land most desolate because of all their abominations which they have committed. All right. That's the, uh, the prophecy where the land of Israel is going to be destroyed also. Now we're going to jump into this uh, art article. And just uh, I'm not gonna read. I'm gonna let my 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 phone re read it. Okay, just bear with me for a second. U.S., Britain, France launch airstrikes in Syria. Steve Holland, Phil Stewart, Washington, Reuters, U.S., British, and French forces pounded Syria with airstrikes early on Saturday in response to a poison gas attack that killed dozens of people last week in the biggest intervention by Western powers against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. U.S. President Donald Trump announced the military action from the White House late on Friday. As he spoke, explosions rocked Damascus. British Prime Minister Theresa May and French President Emmanuel Macron said the UK and France had joined in the attack. Trump said he was prepared to sustain the response until Assad's government stopped its use of chemical weapons. The strikes were the biggest intervention by Western powers against Assad in the country's seven-year-old civil war and pitted the United States and its allies against Russia, which itself intervened in the war in 2015 to back Assad.
A short time ago, I ordered the United States Armed Forces to launch precision strikes on targets associated with the chemical weapons capabilities of Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad, Trump said in a televised address from the White House. Speaking of Assad and his suspected role in last week's chemical weapons attack, Trump said, these are not the actions of a man. They are crimes of a monster instead. The U.S. official told Reuters the strikes were aimed at multiple targets and involved Tomahawk cruise missiles. At least six loud explosions were heard in Damascus in the early hours of Saturday and smoke was seen rising over the Syrian capital, a Reuters witness said. A second witness said the Barza district of Damascus had been hit in the strikes. Barza is the location of a major Syrian scientific research center. At a Pentagon briefing, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff General Joseph Dunford said the targets included a Syrian research facility and a chemical weapons storage facility. A second U.S. official said targets were being carefully selected with the aim of damaging Assad's ability to conduct further gas attacks while avoiding the risk of spreading poisonous fallout in civilian areas. The purpose of our actions tonight is to establish a strong deterrent against the production, spread and use of chemical weapons, Trump said. The U.S. President, who has tried to build good relations with Russian President Vladimir Putin, had sharply critical words for both Russia and Iran, which have backed Assad's government. To Iran and to Russia, I ask, what kind of a nation wants to be associated with the mass murder of innocent men, women and children? Trump said. British Prime Minister Theresa May said she had authorized British armed forces to conduct coordinated and targeted strikes to degrade the Syrian regime's chemical weapons capability. She described it as a limited and targeted strike aimed at minimizing civilian casualties. The military action is not about intervening in Syria's civil war or changing its government, she said. It was not immediately clear how extensive the strikes were. U.S. officials had earlier said that Trump had pressed for a more aggressive U.S strike against Syria than his military chiefs had recommended. U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Matt and other military leaders had warned that the larger the attack, the greater the risk of a confrontation with Russia to U.S. Officials said, Trump made clear in his eight-minute television address that he is wary of a deeper entanglement in Syria, where about 2,000 U.S. troops have been deployed to fight Islamic State. America does not seek an indefinite presence in Syria, he said. The airstrikes, however, risk dragging the United States further into Syria's civil war, particularly if Russia, Iran, and ass opt to retaliate. All right, Akim. And with that, this is the Brother Bashar. Shalom.